Hello, welcome back to my channel. But if you're new here, thank you for tuning in and possibly joining the Pretty Plug community. In today's video, I'll be showing you how I sublimated this travel tote and luggage tag set by the brand Make Market. So make sure you keep watching. Okay, so in these first few clips, I am at my local Michael's store scoping out new items and I ran across these polyester totes. So I thought about sublimation and I grabbed one. And then I saw these luggage tags that was by the same brand. So I went ahead and grabbed one of those. Okay, so now I'm in Canva. I'm going to hit create design and I'm going to look up luggage tag. And it's going to bring up a bunch of templates that I can use, but I'm not going to use any right now because I have my own design. So here I'm just going to click on the design that I already have, and I'm just going to size it to where I want it. Okay, so now that I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and grab a design from Canva and add another page. The reason I added another page was because if I would have added the, the template onto the page with my design, it would have deleted my image for some reason. Let me know in the comments how to fix this issue if you have these same problems. Okay, so as you all saw, I deleted the luggage because I just wanted the bottom to put like my name and phone and email. Okay, so on this next part, I'll just be playing with different fonts and adding my information in. And as I was making this, I was like, something looks off. So I, I kept going, but I'm like, no, it still looks off. So when I got done typing the letters, I, I kind of looked at it and I was like, oh, the image is, is not right, it's sideways. So I ended up turning it around and adjusting it to fit with the bottom half. And the reason the image is so far down is because I had to leave an opening at the top for the slot where the um, tag goes in. So now that I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and hit share and download it. And I'm going to use a transparent background. And I'm going to download it to my computer. So I uploaded that Canva image in Silhouette Studios where I'm going to size it and print it. And I went with 3.7 in width and 2.5 in height. And this is me just duplicating the image a couple times so I don't waste any paper. Because I'm more than likely I'm going to make a few more of these for myself. So now that I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and print out the um, images. And I'm going to use my sublimation printer. And I'm going to flip it horizontally. When you're doing sublimation, you always want to remember to flip your images horizontally. Okay, so now it's printing. So now I'm going to go ahead and upload the image for the tote. And I'm just going to use the regular image. And the size, I'm just winging it. I'm going to just make it is the same size as the paper and I'm using eight and a half by 11 paper. And here I'm just gonna click the show print border so I won't make my image too big. Now that I'm done, I'm gonna go ahead and print and I'm gonna use my sublimation printer and I'm gonna flip the image horizontally.
Now the image is printing. Okay, so now the image is done printing. When you see the colors pop straight out the printer, you know it's gonna be a good day. Okay, so this is me getting ready to open up the luggage tags just to give you an up close and personal look. And I'm not gonna lie, this is a good quality little tag for what it costs. And I'm liking this company because they put the directions on the back. It's quick, simple, and straight to the point. Okay, so here's the images for the luggage tags. I'm just going to use my cutter to cut them out. Okay, so this is butcher paper. The most vital thing you could use in sublimation. You always want to use butcher paper so the ink doesn't bleed onto something else. So now I'm just going to lint roll it to get all the little extra dust and particles off before I lay the image on. Now I'm going to lay the image onto the luggage tag so I can get ready to tape it down with my heat resistant tape. By the way, this is Cricut brand heat resistant tape. So now I'm just gonna straighten up the image on the luggage tag and tape it down. So now we moved on to the tote. So as you can see, the instructions are on the back and it's 100% polyester. Real simple instructions. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up so I can place the image on it. So this is me reading to see the heating instructions so I can preheat my heat press. So now I'm gonna turn it on. I'm gonna turn it up to 380 and 60 seconds. Actually, I turned it up to 400 because I usually press on 400 when I'm using sublimation. So I'm gonna go ahead and preheat the tote. for like five seconds. Now that it's preheated, I'm gonna go ahead and lint roll it before I lay my image down. And that's the image I'm laying down. And I'm putting butcher paper on top of it. And I didn't show, but I put butcher paper on the inside of the bag too, just so it wouldn't bleed to the other side of the bag. Okay, so now it's done. That That's the only problem that I have with this heat press. The, the Teflon sheet and the butcher paper always get stuck. But would you take a look at that? Wow. It looks like it's still a lot of ink left on it. But baby, it took a lot off. That bag looks very, very nice. See, that's the piece that I put on the inside. It didn't bleed through, but we always want to be safe when using sublimation ink. Look at that. That looks so nice. And if you know me, you know I'm a big fan of Betty Boot. Especially the black girl Betty Boot. But anyway. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the luggage tag. So on the luggage tag, I use the butcher paper and the Teflon sheet.
and now it's done and as you can see the teflon she got lost again but moving on okay so i'm cutting the um the heat resistant tape off and would you look at that that looks official that looks real nice up close the camera does it no justice it those colors are popping I cannot wait to put this luggage tag on my luggage I got some more ideas for these luggage tags I'll be back with those later but if you enjoy watching this video and want to see more on sublimation make sure you click the playlist on the screen and thank you guys for watching see you soon Oh, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, bye.